Welcome to Ultimate Weddings, the ultimate guide to finding the perfect wedding accessories of your dreams. Over the next 30 minutes, we'll be bringing you some of the UK's most glamorous wedding accessories, whatever your style, budget and theme. From gorgeous tiaras to stunning bikinis, it's all right here on Ultimate Weddings. First up, irresistible headdresses. Irresistible headdresses. Well, we started with Gillian, uh, who does hair and makeup on the wedding day. And some of her girls used to say to her, do you know, I haven't found what I wanted, or I found it and something's broken off, or I don't, I think I don't like it now. And Gillian said to me, why don't we start, do you know, let's see if we can repair some of these or make something different. And that's how we started. We don't actually have a range because we work a lot with designers, we work a lot with television, and we work a lot with magazines, with film, and so a lot of people give us commissions for things. Uh, our main, main work, of course, is with our brides, and they'll come with their idea, they'll show us their dress, and they'll say, well, can you match this bit of beading here, or my mother said she doesn't want me to wear this, or she doesn't want me to have pearls, or she does want me to have pearls, so that's how we work. It's whatever you really ask us to make. This headdress is called Love Nest. It's beautiful feathers, ostrich feathers, and you can have it as long as you like, or you can even have more feathers. Uh, and the little flower, well, the big flower in the center is made of pure silk, and we can make it exactly to match the bride's gown. And it's got a few little sparkles on just to add a little bit of glamour, you know. Some of the gorgeous pieces we have behind us, uh, when in fact it's just a small selection we brought with us for you to see, um, are all handmade, everything's handmade, you can have it in silver or gold, not real gold, of course, but the silver is sterling silver. We use freshwater cultured pearls, Swarovski crystal, cubic zirconia. We use semi-precious stones, beautiful silk flowers. We've got over a thousand different designs for any hairstyle, and each girl can tailor it to how she likes if she wants it a different colour or anything. Also, rather than just put everything on a band or on a comb, we can show them, do their hair for them and show them exactly how it'll look by putting it in. So not only will it look beautiful, but it will sit comfortably, whether they're doing an elegant waltz or the Highland Fling, and it won't <laughs> fall out, please God. <laughs> Now this headdress is called Passion Flower. Passion Flower is very nice because if the bride says, look, I don't want to wear a veil, I wouldn't be seen dead in a veil, we can then say to her, well, how about having just a little tiny milliner's veil? In fact, this is pure silk French. And this is pretty because now she just has a tiny little soft veiling. You can see a gorgeous size through it. And there she is, and she still has some flowers and a little bit of sparkle. We are looking and researching we love all the eras actually and um, our Anita we love Josephine Baker Josephine we know that era when she was wild because when I when we first started and when we had to make the pieces I was way over the top because I was thinking of show business I had great big pieces and, da -da. Yes. and of course Gillian said no you can't do that she said because the brides you know they want little so of course I had to tone down uh, but in a way, it's been very helpful because we've done so many catwalks. We've done the Virgin catwalk. We did lots with the magazines. And, and I think we love, or we love the whole aspect of it. OK, this is another look for a fashionable bride with perhaps a straight dress or a little jacket and skirt who wants to look a bit sassy. We've got ostrich feathers and a little cluster of crystal in the centre to give a little bit of je ne sais quoi. <laughs> The other side of irresistible headdresses is that when a bride comes in, I specialize and have a little team of girls that specialize in doing hair and makeup for weddings. So our girls will come in, sit down, and we'll look at their face shape and their hairstyle yeah. and the neckline of the dress and how they feel comfortable and create a hairstyle while they're sitting there to show them what would suit them beautifully. So they'd sit down, we'd do their hair for them and then try all different tiaras or little hair accessories or things so that they can see what they look like they don't have to imagine that my passion apart from beautiful sparkles and things in their hair 
really with the tiaras too is to see a lady and make her look like a lady whether it's vintage or whatever look she yeah. fancies and give her and create different ideas to show her how an ordinary girl can look like a film star on her day. Yes, we like to think that we can do for our brides or even someone who's going to a special event something that we don't find ourselves a lot these days. We try really hard to give them a wonderful service. We'll give them any amount of time to come and see, to sit there if they say, I've always thought I'd like to see this or whatever. And in fact, we try to do exactly what we've got a little logo and a motto which says, our bride is our star. And we say, come and visit us and let us make you feel that way. Thank you to the ladies at Irresistible Headdresses. Next up, if you're looking for the perfect bikini, then Sand in My Toes will offer you all you need to pack for your perfect honeymoon. Sand in My Toes was launched in 2007. We wanted to create a site that was easy to use and stock designer brands so people could go on and find everything they wanted in one place. The brands we chose um, were based on what we like. Um, it's basically our style. Um, you know, we, we like kind of different brands, slightly you know, higher end designer stuff that we couldn't find on the high street. The ranges that we stock are Melissa Odebash, Jets, Sea Folly, Papillon Blue for caftans, Aga Clara, and new for 2009, we have Pistol Panties and Moon Tide. Well, with Melissa Odebash, um, you, you'll see the bikinis on a lot of celebrities. Um, they're high quality, um, really good cut, really good fit. Um, so, you know, that's why we went for that. Jets um, are the same. That's a really premium brand. Um, the, the fabrics and the swimwear is, you know, it's, it's really high end. Um, Moon Tide is a, is a younger brand, it's quite funky, it's fun, slightly less expensive and you know we wanted to offer a range. Um, Agua Clara is a South American brand from Peru, um, it's beautiful, lots of hand stitching, hand embroidery. Um, so we wanted a range of different styles, you know, sexy, classic, stylish, so these are you know, what we feel our brands represent. Choosing your uh, swimwear wardrobe for your honeymoon, obviously, you know, it's very sort of high end. You want you want to spend money. You want to feel um, glamorous when on a honeymoon. So what we've tried to do really is kind of pick out pieces that people could take away in terms of having like a one piece if you're going on a cruise, or um, you know, bikinis, and you've got sort of different different styles there. Whether you want sort of more cover up in terms of a tankini or a string bikini, and then sort of matching um, caftans or caftans that complement the bikini or one piece that you're wearing. And really, just we're we're trying to provide a one-stop shop. So we you know we've got the caftans, we've got the flip flops, and our range is is continuing to grow. There are basically four classic shapes. You will have the apple, the pear, the rectangle, and the hourglass. Now an hourglass is a very balanced figure, and if you're lucky enough to have an hourglass figure, you can pretty much wear any style of bikini. Pear shape is uh, you know, a triangular shape. You know, you're wider at your, your bottom and your hips than you are at the top. So for that shape, you need to draw attention away from the bottom half and up to the top. The apple shape, um, you're wider at the top than you are at the bottom, so again, the same principle applies. You know, draw attention away from the top down to the bottom area. And rectangular, um, I'm a rectangle, so I'm very straight up and down, not much definition at the waist. Um, so you need to create curves with, with this kind of shape. We have different price ranges, so Moon Tide starts from £40. Um, pounds. And then we have sort of a mid-range, which is the Agua Clara, which is not so 90 pounds. And the high end is really sort of Jets, Melissa Rodebash, and anything from sort of 100 up to 165 pounds. We think our site is particularly good for brides um, because we have a lot of high-end luxury lines. Um, and our caftans, 
you know, will complement the bikinis that we've got and the one pieces. There's a lot of kind of glamorous cruise style wear that, you know, is going to fit well on a, um, you know, a, a five star resort. Your honeymoon is not just any, any old holiday, you're going to want to look good all the time and our range reflects that. Um, you, you spend, you know, a lot of time on the beach or, you know, you know, in the sea and you want to wear something that you're going to look good all the time, you're going to look special for your partner um, and we think that our range really does reflect that. Welcome back to our guide to the UK's ultimate wedding accessories. Sasso has the most amazing collection of handmade jewellery and fabulous headdresses. We went along to meet Elaine, the lady behind this glamorous collection. Sasso began about four years ago. Um, started with four simple marabou garments, just in ivory and um, I thought, oh, maybe look at these and look to change them slightly, find more colours, more interesting feathers, which, which has now become the Sasso collection. The current collection is now lots of different pieces that I source from Europe, um, and I try to match all the vintage looks together with gloves and hats and marabou garments and, and dresses hopefully that's the new sasso this is obviously uh, very fashionable at the moment a little topper and i like to sort of play around with the basic find the nice things feathers bows and just make them a little different um, i also saw some a russian lady that lives in the uk and she makes all these beautiful handmade pieces I mean, these, these, these are beautiful. These are in the new brochure. And it's a sort of a, a crochet, I suppose. And she does all these tiny, and they take weeks to do. And she makes them especially with Sasso in mind. This is, is very new. This is gorgeous. This is the choker. It's in the new brochure and the little bracelet. But something like this is quite inexpensive. But then you, then you can add something like this which is the Cosmo the little Cosmo hat which is just a comb so they pop it on at the front of your head but this is obviously very edgy very different very sort of fab really this is done in black and in this champagne colour and I had um, a, a great phone call last week and it's now on the tour with Britney Spears she's got two in this colour for herself and five of the black for the, the dance group at the back so that's very different but looks very fabulous on just a very slinky dress this is like um, a, a very classic style so again the feathers in the champagne but a nice classic garment little sleeves that's really lovely again one of my favorite with the tails so they're all sort of for different types of personalities, different sort of looks, different feels. If a bride has a dress and, she, uh, and she'd like a certain look to go with that dress and a certain garment or a certain accessory, she can contact me, she can email me. There's a, a link to email me and tell me what she's wearing and send me a photograph. And I'd be very happy to chat to her about the sort of things that she'd like for her hair or I mean something like this is quite simple you can wear this round your neck or again it looks fab just just tied on your wrist what I try to do with things that I create uh, dresses are wonderful but how wonderful when it's always the talking point of someone who wears a fabulous hat uh, we, do, we do it at Ascot why don't we do it in our weddings why don't we do that why don't we feel I look fantastic I look fab and it's all because of the accessories people are actually looking to be edgier not safe which I, which I love next up if you want show-stopping bridal shoes at affordable high street prices then check out faith shoes
we've had um, a bridal collection within Faith for the last couple of years, but it's been over sort of the last year or so we've really realised that there's a, a gap on High Street for fashionable, affordable um, bridal collections. And obviously we have an, a fantastic occasion collection within Faith, um, within our main collection anyway. So we thought why not offer that to the bridal customer. And also she's our customer and we want her to be in Faith's shoes on the most important day of her life as well. So we've catered the range for all different heel heights and um, a variety of styles and patterns on the heels and across um, different price points. So we start at around £45 on lower flat shoes and goes up to about £85-£90 on our more embellished um, higher platform occasion wear. Two of my favourite pieces in the collection would be Chigwell. This was one of my shoes that I wore for my wedding day. On the day I did want it to be quite traditional in a long ivory gown but I did want my shoes to scream fashion. But being a footwear buyer I couldn't choose just one pair so I've also had a second pair which was Looty B again another platform but they're, they're just so comfortable it's got the added cushioning in the sock and I think they both both styles scream fashion at an affordable price and are both comfortable so just going to talk you through a few of my favorites from the bridal collection so the ones that I've mentioned are um, Calentine 85 pounds so absolutely stunning shoe with a diamante brooch we have a beautiful style luti with the chiffon bow um, and a mix of paintant, pearlised paintant and satin. And again, if you don't want to just wear this shoe in ivory, it's available in red and pink. Obviously, because of our success on high heels and platforms, we've introduced much higher heels into the, collect into the bridal collection. Um, but we've also offered flat pumps so that the bride can change into the evening into a different pair of shoes. So quite often we find it in the bride's buying higher shoes for the day and then buying a second pair for the evening, which is why we've offered a, a lower price of £45 for an evening shoe. On your wedding day, you want to have the best. So I wasn't going to be brand loyal. I would rather go for anything that I could find that was going to be the best for me on that day. I think shopping the high street, the one thing that our bridal collection offers that the other brands don't offer is a collection that is affordable, comfortable, it's good quality. Because of the price, because we are so competitive, you can afford to have a bag match with your shoes. You can afford to have a second pair of shoes with a lower heel, perhaps for in the evening, or a flat pair of shoes if you're going to be dancing the night away and your heels are starting to ache. So there's the price allows you to do it a lot more. Yeah, we've um, offered only a couple of handbag matches because obviously it's difficult for the bride to carry but we know that there's a need for a bride to have a bag on her important day for lipstick, makeup or the rest of it. So um, we've just started sort of two or three bag matches to the bridal collection. I think for us, in my bridal party, the main thing was having everybody's footwear fit back and complement mine, which in the faith range in the Faith Bridal Collection, you are able to do that. We, I got my shoes, obviously, two pairs of shoes from the Bridal Range. My mum also got her shoes from the Bridal Range because she could get a matching bag, as did my bridesmaid and even our best man. He shopped online on the website, bought his shoes for his own wedding day and then wore them to our wedding day as well. So there is something for everybody in the collection. You can kind of really live and breathe it through your wedding. Head to the high street to get your hands on a pair. We hope we've inspired you in your choice of wedding accessories, showing you what the UK has to offer. More next time on Ultimate Weddings.